BYU finds itself with great depth at linebacker. That's a big positive when you consider the likes of Utah, Boise State, Georgia Tech, and Notre Dame on the schedule. They're going to need a lot of linebackers. Here's True Blue's Monica Hawks. Reader. Trouble dropped by Van Noy. After a 10-win season, the BYU linebackers are weak into spring practice, and there's nothing slowing them down. Just working hard. Um, our workouts have been intense, uh, weight-wise, and same with the running, so everything's been pretty hard, and that's the way it's supposed to be. It's been, it's been good. Kyle Van Noy recorded 50 unassisted tackles in 2011, but has suffered a shoulder injury and now is focused on recovering in time for fall practice. So what's he doing in the offseason to make sure he gets back to full swing? Eating? Nah, just kidding. Uh, I've been doing just uh, bike, on the bike, little stuff, nothing crazy too far. I'm just trying to get healthy right now and help out the young, younger guys with um, what's going on with the team. So nothing real crazy yet. I'll start rehab in a couple of weeks, so I'm pretty excited to get back here. Spencer Hadley saw action on the field in all 13 games last season as an inside linebacker, but he's making the switch to outside. He's adjusted really well to it. Looks really natural out there in that position and uh, been really impressed with him in the first three days. It's, it's a lot of different in terms of responsibilities. You're out in space a lot more, uh, covering flat routes and, and corners, etc. Manoa Pakula is a redshirt freshman who has already caught the eye of the coaches. He's playing really well. After three days, we've already, we've already, discussed, or already determined that there's going to be a place somewhere for him. He'll probably be a, a great special teams contributor, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him in the 2D. Behind the returning starters, the coaches have plenty of talent. Ziggy Ansa has looked really good coming off the edge, rushing the passer, playing on a tight end, holding up the edge, has done awesome. And uh, then it would be uh, Alani Fua, kind of the same thing, has been able to rush the passer really well in these first three days and uh, has come a long way. Being a redshirt freshman the last year and now being in a sophomore year, understands the scheme better and it's just fun to see all these guys progressing and I'm just excited to see where they're going to go over these next 12 practices. Monica Hawks, BYU TV Sports.